So here we want this behavior. When we check on the crew, we get a short list for all crew members. However, there is the possibility of having to fill in numerous crews, one after the other. So we are going to fix this variable. I have put a security so that after having filled one crew member, we see that the next person we are going to fill in is an ordinary person, so the crew is unchecked. This is a security so that we don't accidentally fill in many crews one after the other. However, there are some instances where we need to fill purposely one after the other the crew members. So I have this button to fix that. So here the behavior, here is the behavior we want. When we click on fix, it automatically click the crew. If we uncheck the fix, the crew stays on. If we uncheck the crew, that's okay. But if we uncheck uncheck the crew, both have to be unchecked. So here it is again. When we click on fix, both have to be activated. When we click on crew out, all is unchecked. When we uncheck fix, only the crew is checked. So here's the coding for that. We have here the check crew button. This is a check crew. Here it is. This one is for the fix. So when we click on the check crew, first of all, we see that if the check crew is fixed, then the resource for the combo box name this one here, surname, it gets focus so that once we click on that, this field is selected and the resource is the crew list. The crew list is here, we can find uh, using name manager. We have a crew list and we use the function offset crew list starting value a1 count a crew list seven characters so when we go here we can find that we have this field selected one two three four five six seven if we want the first row not to be selected we can have this value 2 here you can find that it starts from the second value this is a very practical way to select data as you can find here, all data is selected using this method. It goes to the last value in the field. You don't have to manually select the last field. This is for the locality. These two are entered. Each time a new locality is found, they are entered. These are the localities that have progressively been added. You see that here. Each time we enter one locality, it is saved here with a reference, locality, and locality number. 
and this one is saved also here and we just it just add here a new locality and all the addresses relative to this or uh, locality is going to add up here once we get out of this field we find that it has been added here so let's return back to the checkbox for crew mm. so we want here to have the crew list when the check crew is selected but otherwise we have another checkbox for the surname all the possible names different names that we have quite a lot uh, these names have not been manually entered each time that uh, one new name is typed in it is saved here again here let's finish that and then we'll come to this one uh, this ensure that when we type a name we we have the full name an option for the names if we have if we tap F we are going to get all names starting by F F A F uh, and we have all the possible names starting by F this is a very practical way and speed up matters so when we uncheck the crew we should get these being filled Not the use of with and with when you have to select multiple parameters column count is how many columns is supposed to be selected for one value so here it is so here is the coding that we want so this is for the fix if the check crew value is false so that when this is not selected we make it become selected this is one of the requirements we need and we have another requirement this one if the check crew value is true we make it false and we make this one also false with these two functions we are able to get our requirement here